Hey guys, I hope you've been liking the videos. Uh, so now we're going to make one of my favorites, probably one of my all time favorites, because this is a recipe that my mom taught me as a kid and was one of the recipes that I could do by myself and is probably the f one of the memories that I would attribute to me becoming the chef that I am today. So the ingredients we're going to need is we're going to need all-purpose flour, baking soda, table salt, unsalted butter, brown sugar, eggs, vanilla, and milk chocolate chippets. So what we're going to make today is my chocolate chip cookies from when I was a kid. So next I'll show you the items that we're going to need to actually make the cookies. So the items you're going to need are your baking trays with parchment paper. I have two baking trays with parchment paper that I'm going to use. Then I have my scoop for my cookies. But if you don't have a scoop, then a large soup spoon, tablespoon is what you would use to scoop out your cookie dough. I have a couple of measuring cups, measuring spoons, spatula, and a knife. And then I'm using my stand mixer with the paddle attachment. Plus I'm going to use a small bowl to crack the eggs into. And then with the knife I'm also going to um, cut the butter because we're going to use a cup of butter and I'm going to show you how to cut your butter next. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to measure out your butter. Normally, most butters actually have a little ruler on the top when you open your package with the line. So you basically wanna follow that line for cutting your butter. So we need We're going to need one cup of butter. So basically that is your large line here. That's your cup of butter. So basically half of the brick. So how you want to do it is put your knife to the line. Kind of make a line. Move the rest of the packaging off butter and then you're gonna cut all the way down and what I like to do is just turn it make a couple of cuts put them back together cut again this will also soften your butter if you are just taking it out and I would just leave them cut them again in thirds again make small so the butter is ready for when we're ready to use them so you put that to the side and then you can start measuring all your ingredients and then we'll go into making our actual cookie dough okay guys so now I want to show you everything that is measured out so for the flour it is one and a quarter cups of flour and we're going to add to it salt and baking soda so baking soda is half a teaspoon and the salt is one teaspoon so we'll add it to the flour and then we're going to mix it into the flour like we did with the banana bread and probably the cheddar loaf that we made okay that's done so then the one we have the butter that I showed you and then we have one and a half cups brown sugar so what you want to do is you want to lightly pack it down to the level of the one and a half not 
would be our brown sugar. And we'll take a measuring cup. And then we're going to have two cups of the chippets. I use the milk chocolate, but you can also use the semi sweet. Then we have cracked our two eggs. And into that, we're going to actually put our vanilla, which is two teaspoons. Put a little extra, two, and that's ready for our next steps. So then what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the actual mixing of the cookies, which I'm going to try get it all filled nicely in one shot maybe okay. hopefully you can see so in here we're gonna add our butter also you want to preheat your oven to 350 so the butter is gonna go into the mixer break up the pieces And I'm going to put down my beater and we're just going to feed it a little bit just to help soften it up. Okay. And then we're going to add our sugar. So, brown sugar is going to go in. going to let it go. This we're also, it's going to soften up and it's also going to cream together and we want a nice light and fluffy kind of consistency. So that's going to go for a couple of minutes. Help speed it up a little bit. What it should look like once it's done. So now I've beaten the sugar and butter for about five minutes. So next we're gonna add our eggs to the mixture and it'll become a smoother consistency. So that's your eggs and your vanilla you go in next. And we're gonna do that until everything comes together into the bowl. So everything should look kind of like curdled and then as it beats it'll become a creamy mixture. So you want to get it to it becoming a creamy mixture. It'll be the flour. Okay. A couple more minutes. And then we're going to start gradually adding our flour mixture. But first, I'm going to show you what we're going to do 
to the chocolate chips. So the flour, we're going to take a little bit of the flour, put it into the chocolate chips. And we're just going to mix the flour in to kind of coat the chips. That way the chips don't sink to the bottom of the batter and you get a nice even spackling of chips in your cookie dough. So next we're going to come back to here and we're going to add our flour to the mixture. I'm going to just put it in gradually. it in, let it go, just a quick and then show you the dough, the dough is pretty much ready, and now we're just going to add chocolate chips. And let that go again. The dough is pretty much ready. Just clean off the paddle. And then we're going to be ready to put onto the tray. So now we're going to put our cookie dough onto the tray. So I like to use my ice cream scoop, or you can use a spoon, a tablespoon. So basically what I like to do, just so you can see, my first ones is take it in, put it into a bowl, pretty much level it out, so it's a level scoop, and then drop it onto the tray. If you don't have that, then you can use your spoon. Basically, get maybe that much on the spoon, and then down onto the tray, and then it'll do like a pancake, and it'll flatten out and round out once it's baked. So I'm going to fill up this tray with cookies. These are going to make big ones. If you don't want big ones, then you can use either a smaller scoop if you want to use those scoops. Or you can use a teaspoon instead and just do a full teaspoon onto the tray. And these are going to go into a preheated oven at 350 for about 12 minutes. If you find that they're too, too overdone, then you can always lower the time to 
to 11, 10 minutes. 11 or 10 minutes. It's how you want it to look. But there's really no real time except for the 12 minutes. You want to go over that where you just overcook them. And nobody wants an overcooked chocolate chip cookie. That's pretty much it until they come out. So 350 for 12 minutes. Okay guys, so 12 minutes has elapsed and here are the final cookies. All nice and made. So um, this recipe will actually get you about two and a half dozen, which is anywhere from 30 to 32 cookies. So hope you like the cookies as much as I do. See you in the next video.